Here in this video, we're going to walk you through importing your customers from an Excel file. If you use QuickBooks online or desktop, I would definitely recommend you import your customers from there instead of using Excel file. There's more information. It's usually better information. But if you don't use QuickBooks desktop or online, then an Excel file is the next best way to get your customers set up in Element CRM without having to manually enter them all. So if you watch this video, we'll show you how to do it in 10 minutes or less. We're going to start here from an LMN account. Now in this account, I've already imported some QuickBooks data. So it looks like I got a fair bit of data in there. Those of you who are just getting started are probably only seeing, you know, four or five uh, CRM users or leads or prospects in here. So what we want to do is import your existing data into here. So you don't have to enter it all manually. The way to do that is to go up here and click the import button. Now, when you click the import button, We've set up a sample file format for you where you can put your information in. And I can find that sample file right here. Bottom left, it says download sample file. If you click that, it'll download a file to your browser. And if you open that file, what you'll get is an Excel file. That Excel file looks something like this. Very standard. You got your Excel rows. Each column is a different property so lead name address one address two city state zip etc and actually row two here is instructions and if you want to make this a little easier to read you can click on each one and it'll show you the instructions there now another really important point is this file is a csv file it'll make more sense in just a minute when i explain that to you so your job now is to get your information from wherever it is you're getting it from and to cut and paste it into this format in Excel. So for example, if I had another Excel file that I got by downloading my customer list out of some other application, I'd go to my customer name field in this other application and I'd copy and paste that into this column here, my lead names. Then I'd go to my address field in my other spreadsheet and I'd cut and paste those into here, this address field and city and state and zip and so on. Referral source, where do they hear about you from? Type, type should be C or L. C is client, L is lead. That's all explained up here in the list. And then all the way through here. So you've got contact people, positions, contact email names. Um, I keep scrolling along, around here. I get into job sites and job site addresses, etc. So each one of these rows that you end up creating is gonna end up being a customer or a lead. A customer or a lead can have, at least on the import level, one uh, contact person imported and one job site imported. If you contact with multiple job sites, or then just make sure your first columns, the customer information is all identical, and then the job site information can be different. And LMN will recognize that. If the uh, client information is the same in two rows, then it'll take that job site information and put it in the same contact as it did the row before. So again, if I had one client, multiple job sites, as long as I had the exact same client information in these cells here, then it'll create new job sites for all the unique information over here in the job sites. Let's take a look at a file and what one might really look like once you get it going. And this is just a quick file. Close down the other one. This is what it looks like. So I've got my client names here, the address here, city, state, zip, country, etc. And if I go all the way across here, I end up with my contact information and then eventually I get to my job site information, job site name, job site address. So in this case, it's going to create for me five clients. Each one of those clients is going to have one contact and one job site. Once you're set up here, you're good. Uh, just really important thing when you're saving this file, you're not going to save it just as an Excel file. You're going to go save as, and then you're going to take this drop down here and change it to what we call a CSV file. It's a comma delimited file. So an Excel file is just specific to an Excel, a CSV file, Excel saves your information with commas in between it so that other applications can read that and realize where the name starts and stops and where the address starts and stops, et cetera, et cetera. So a CSV file is the format that you want. So once you've got your file name here and this says CSV file, go hit save. That'll save your file. You can save it anywhere on your local machine, but you probably want to save it somewhere where you can easily find it again because we're going to need it in about two seconds. Once you're saved, I already have. 
close that down. And now I'm back into this LMN screen for import contacts. So I've got my file, it's ready to go. Now I just wanna use it. So here under the import file, I'm gonna go choose file and click that button. Now I'm gonna find the file that I just saved. Import files. And if I go date modified here, oops, it'll be under my CRM. And there it is right there, one import test. So I'm gonna click that and hit open. So the name of your file will appear here. You may get warnings. In this case, my warning's not a big deal. It just says some of the values in spreadsheet doesn't match the information already in your database. These new values will be added. Actually, what's this, what this this is telling me is that I've used tags that aren't already in my database. It'll add those tags for me. It's kind of a good thing. Now I'll just go down here and hit import. So I'll click import and it says file imported successfully. Five leads were added, close. And if I open up one of those leads, like this one, I'll have the lead name, their address, their city, their postal code. Under the contact section, I'll have the name of the contact, their email, phone numbers, etc. And under the job sites, I'll have the name of the job site, job site, address, city, state, postal. And that's another way of getting your uh, customers or clients from other applications set up in LMN in just a few minutes. If you had any questions about that process, be sure to reach out to us. We can help you with your file. It's usually a file thing. Uh, we can't, unfortunately, help you get information out of your other applications. That would be um, between you and your other application vendors. But once you get it out into a CSV file, we're happy to help you from there. Reach out to us at live chat, goalmn.com slash help, or you can email us at advice at goalmn.com and we will help you to the best of our abilities. Thanks a lot.